everyone welcome to omni studio flex cards sessions in this session we are going to see how we can use integration procedures as data source inside flex cards so i'll first go ahead and create a flex card let's just give it a name as test uh, integration procedure flex card uh, and that's it let's just click on next for now i'm not selecting the data source because i have not created integration procedure yet so uh, let, let it be like this. Now let's just go ahead uh, here in the setup. I can update the data source. I can select the integration procedure, but I have not created it yet. So let's just go ahead and create the integration procedure. But before we create the integration procedure in the integration procedure, I want to use data raptor uh, extract action. So if you don't know about data raptor, then please uh, like, you know, go ahead and watch that tutorial. I'll provide the link in the description. But before we create the integration procedure, we are just going ahead and creating the data raptor. So I'll just click on new. And here I'm going to provide test uh, data raptor for IP and extract. I'll just click on save. Here I'm just going to fetch account details. So I'll select account object. And here I'll just provide the node for the JSON here, account, and then in the filter, I'm just going to place a very simple condition where name, like, and then I'll provide a variable name here, okay, SEC name. I'll provide the value for this when I execute this, all right? So let's just copy this. And before that, let's just go and set the fields, right? What are the fields that you want to fetch? The value, right? So let's just say ID, account ID. And here in the, for the JSON uh, node, I'll just give the name as ID itself. So this is fine. Now let's just also add another field. Let's take name. And then here also, I'll just give it as name. So that's it. Um, let's just provide the data type as well. And in this one also, all right, so now I have included two fields for the output. I need name and I need ID. Now let's just go ahead and preview this. So before we do that, let's just copy the variable name. Let's go to preview. And here I will uh, add the variable name and I'll provide a value. All right, so media, if I click on execute, all the account names where this keyword exists, it's going to give me the results back. And similarly, let's see if I provide another keyword as account, so any account where name contains account keyword, right? It is going to return that result. So the data wrapper is ready. Now let's just go ahead. I'll copy the name here. Now I'll go ahead and create the integration procedure. So click on new. Over here, I'm going to give a name. Sorry, this is data wrapper. I'll just give the name as inti test integration procedure for flex card i'm just giving any name i mean when you create it give some sensible name so let's just give the same name here so i'll just copy this paste and paste all right and i'll save this so that i can configure the rest of the integration procedure now let's just go ahead and copy the data raptor name so here i'll use data raptor extract action so if you see here there is an element name that is already populated but under data raptor interface, we have to search for the data raptor that we have created. So this is the data raptor, correct? And after that, we have to provide input parameter as well because we have defined a parameter here, right? So this variable, I'll copy the name and this name you have to put in here. And then whatever you're defining here with this variable name, you're going to access this in your uh, flex card, all right? So I'll just give it as account name all right so this is something which is coming from the data raptor this is something which is you which you are going to refer in your flex card when you will be calling this integration procedure so in your test parameter in your input map you can use this variable now let's just also add a response action over here so that whatever results record result it's returning you can receive that in a in a property so here i'll go here and then there's something called additional output. Here, yeah, let's add a key value pair. And I'll give like, you know, any random name like account details or let's just say accounts. And the data raptor element name, right? Because whatever the results it has, 
in the data raptor what happened to this okay just copy this name and in the response action when you are providing your additional output all right here you just have to wrap it up inside this percent symbol all right so this is done now let's just go ahead and activate this so that we can use this in the flex card if it is not activated you cannot use it in the flex card all right so this is done and this is the uh, integration procedure name now i'll go ahead and uh, use this in the flex card so here first of all we would have to refresh this let's just go to the data source and here search for the integration procedure and the integration procedure is test something right test for this one so it is giving the type subtype combination kind of a thing that is why you see this way and i have not provided a very sensible name right so that is why you're seeing like this so this is fine this is the data source type and this is the data source integration procedure that we have so let's just go ahead and first try to fetch so it won't give anything right because we have a variable so you need to provide that right the input map so add new and if i go back to the integration procedure what was the input parameter this so copy this go back here and here let's just provide a value as media and then save and fetch so it should give me two is why is it it is giving me the results back but if you see it has an additional node as accounts right this is what i have defined in integration procedure like the output right additional output how do i want to receive it so we would have to uh, exclude this right so that i can see the value in the table so what i'm going to do is here in the result json path you have to select this now if we do save and fetch we'll see the result in the table as well right and also let's say so here i have if you see i have hard coded the value in the input parameter correct but let's say if i don't want to hard code the value and if i want to provide the value in the test parameter so i'll do something like this so in the curly braces just provide account name like whatever name you want here like any any variable sort of name you can provide so this and then in test parameter so see this got added so here you can provide a keyword so if i provide media it should work it is working all right and see that account node is gone because we provided a json result path and if i add another keyword as such as let's say account keyword right any account name where the keyword is this keyword is present it will fetch and show me the data so see account account it is fetching the data and it is showing us all right now let's just go to build and use a data table so data table all right and not sure why it's not loading here but we can preview this as well so let it load So you can see this is working right the name and the id these are the two fields i'm fetching and as per the parameter value like the test parameter value it is showing me the results right and here like you know while you're testing it you can add additional like you know a key value if you have like you know multiple parameters or you even you can update this one all right so uh, this is a very basic example of how you can use integration procedure as data source in your omni scripts uh in uh like you know upcoming sessions of course when we are doing the practice set we will cover more difficult use cases but i think this is good to get started and i hope you liked it and please practice and i'll see you in the next one thank you